Mary Reddick here, Director of Nutrition for Captain Soup. I spend my time working with patients and traveling the globe, studying traditional diets with tribes everywhere from Tanzania, Uganda to South America. My main focus is on ancestral nutrition and how that impacts our health and why it is that there are regions in the world that are in perfect health. Many of the places that I go to don't suffer with any of the chronic diseases that we deal with. So when many people meet me, they often ask how I got into this. And how I got into this is very relevant to Captain Soup and soup in general. From age 18 until 30, I was very disabled, really fully disabled, with a condition called dysautonomia. It was triggered by an infection in the Bahamas while I was studying at a field station, and it ended up causing liver disease, kidney disease, really quite severe neuropathy from the neck down, uh, thyroid disease, <laughs> the list goes on and on. But needless to say, I spent many of my, my young years stuck in a bed being cared for by my parents, by my family, and by a massive medical team that, although very well-meaning, were never able to get me better. It was one of these years that I was spending in bed that I started doing research with my family. We started to do a lot of reading and we started to try many different diets. I thought at the time that I ate healthy, I ate healthier than most of my friends, but I started to learn that eating in moderation didn't necessarily mean healing. <laughs> and I certainly couldn't argue with that as I was more sick than ever. So I started to look more strictly at diet and lifestyles and ended up trying about 16 different diets, everything from vegan to raw, the full gamut. None of those actually worked, but it was a very fun experiment for me to go through and it gave me purpose in a time when I really didn't have much purpose at all. At one point, I stumbled upon a Russian diet by Dr. Natasha Campbell McBride, a brilliant MD who practices out of the UK, who also happens to have a master's in nutrition. And she taught this traditional Russian diet to heal the gut lining, where I learned over 80% of the immune system resides and 70% of the nervous system resides. Now, my condition started in my nervous system, but had triggered three autoimmune conditions. So my immune system was very involved as well. And I tried this diet. I went full hog, and essentially what it meant was, was that I was eating nothing but homemade chicken soup. It had very few ingredients. It basically had boiled carrots and onions, and it used meat broth. I lived on this one soup, this one soup recipe for two years, but I did so because it actually worked. It reversed my neuropathies, it reversed my diseases and my kidney and my liver. By a year in on that diet, eating that soup twice a day as my only meals, I was in full remission and I was actually able to go back to school. It was truly remarkable. So when I say that soup saved my life, I quite literally mean I I would not be here today if it was not for this soup diet that we can offer you here at Captain Soup. After I healed, as many of us do, if you ever go into, rem into remission from quote unquote incurable conditions, you get a bit of a religious fervor about this. And I, with my Midwestern etiquette, felt inappropriate speaking about it in public or even in social circles. So I went back to school after my undergrad and did my postgrad in nutrition and became a nutritionist, really thinking it would be a bit of a hobby at the time. Little did I know that it would end up creating the most wonderful life I think I could have ever I couldn't have even imagined for myself. So now here I am, director of nutrition for Captain Soup, still living on soups. I can move on now. I eat lots of different foods, but I, I work with about 60 people a week. I get to do conferences and all these wonderful things. I get to see the entire world, something that my old bedbound self couldn't have even dreamed of back in the day. And I can genuinely say it was due to eating soups day in and day out and nothing but soups. I, I don't say that lightly. I wasn't eating anything else. So soups literally saved my life, just like our founder, Brian Gaudet.
He and I are quite a team, as he was actually the first person I had ever met who also put his condition into remission by eating soups. I'm very honored to work for Captain Soup. I'm very honored to bring something that I so believe in to the public, and I'm so grateful that I have something that I can offer my patients where they don't have to cook as much as I did. You know, back in the day, if someone wanted to do the GAPS diet, which is the Russian soup diet that I healed on, you had to make everything from scratch scratch. This is wonderful because you can actually order these and have them shipped to your door. So I encourage you, if you're struggling with a health condition, consider trying eating soups for your meals instead. You can use some of my recipes, you can order the soups from Captain Soup and, and rest and let yourself, uh, let your body do the healing while you rest instead of so much cooking. But always remember, Soups never killed anybody, so it wouldn't hurt to try. I'm so grateful I tried soups, and I hope you do too. This is Mary Ruddick for Captain Soup.